We'll have Coach Raiola next. And Coach Dvorak's here, and we'll be after, after Donovan. So go ahead with your questions, guys. Hey, Coach, it's been a couple of months since, uh, since you know, you, you decided to stay on. And, and, and you go, what were those conversations, those initial ones, with Coach Rule like about uh, why he wanted you to stay and why you decided to stay? Um, it's just, you know, I'm just, first of all, I'm just grateful for this opportunity, you know, to work with Coach Rule and the staff. Um, it's been awesome. It's a great group of men, and uh, it's a great group of men for me to learn from. And uh, it was good, you know, we just talked about philosophies and our beliefs and all those things, and we meshed well, and it was awesome. It was great, great talks. Was it, was it a decision for you? I mean, did you characterize it? Was it a dip, difficult decision or was it easy? Not at all. This is a special place to us, to me, and, you know, my family, so. And then being around these men, Coach Rue and his staff, I mean, it was a no-brainer for me. One of the things Coach Rule said was when he talked to players, they all said they all were favorable about the job you'd done and, and what you meant to them. What did, what did that mean to you to, you know, to have that feedback from the guys you've worked with? Um, you know, first thought was let's keep improving, <laughs> you know, um, improve, improve our standards, just, just everything that we do, you know, our process and everything we do is just – Focus on improvement. Had you ever, Donovan, had you been through anything, been through a situation like that in your career where there was a change and, you know, you, you had kind of a period of uncertainty and, you know, went through what, what, it, what it was like for you in December? Anything that you, you were able to lean on with your, your upbringing and coaching that helped you in that time? Um, a couple of years ago in Chicago, you know, um, the offensive line coach got let go and, you know, he was the guy that brought me in there. Um, and there's a, you know, that day, it was just one day that, and then later in the day I found out. But um, that was really the only experience I've been through. Um, my thing was just keep going to work, keep showing up, you know, keep doing what I'm doing. And, uh, the, you know, and everything worked out great. <clears throat> Satterfield uh, talked about how you and you, you two jived immediately. Why do you think that was? What, why do you think you guys were on the same page so quick? Oh, uh, just same beliefs. Coach Raiola, you brought in Ben Scott, um, someone that you had a relationship with. What did you like about Ben, and, and what can he bring to your group that you, you have coming back? Uh, just he has a lot of experience playing at, playing at a high level, um, and you know he's he's doing well. You know since he's been here, um, you know he's he's a smart kid. Um, you know, and, and then he's he's still learning our standards, and you know, and but he's he's been great for us, you know, as, as an older guy that's got a lot of playing experience, you know, um, and then everyone around him just uh, accepted him, which, you know, made the transition better for him. How do you feel like your O-line played last year, and then what are your expectations for this year? Um, I thought as the year went on, they improved every game, which is, you know, being an offensive lineman, it's such a process, right? You got a new coach, new techniques, new calls, all those different things. And as you watch the season go on, they got better and better and better. And that's all we're focused on. We're focused on today, um, focusing on our process of improvement. And um, that's, that's what we're going forward with. How much could it help? Does it help at all that this is your second year with these guys? Is that, is that something that can help? help yes, you? absolutely, absolutely. How so? How so? How does that help? The you same think? voice, you know. They're hearing the same voice, the same, the same coaching points over and over and over and over. And you know, when they get out there, the game's so fast that it just simplifies their thoughts, so they can play fast. When you went to find Ben, or when you brought him in here to recruit him, was it specifically to find to, to find a center? I know he's played tackle and center, but you know, speak to the importance of having a center to be able to build that line around. And is that the, the, the intention all the way with him? Um, well, first off, with the center question, that's a special position. That's a specialized position, right? You're the brains. You, you set everybody. You make sure everyone's on the same page, right? You're looking for a guy that's a natural leader, that's willing to get up there and, and, and communicate well and make sure everyone's on the same page. Um, so, and that's a special position to me. That's the position I played. Um, but, uh, and, you know, just Ben's experience, you know, uh, we don't know where he's going to play yet, you know, um, but he's uh, doing a great job with, you know, whatever we throw at him. Common trait among those four Nebraska offensive linemen <coughs> that you just that you just signed back in December. Toughness. What did, do you see 
that out when you're recruiting? Like, is there a thing that, that you're looking for, and how do you how do you evaluate it? How do you find toughness when you how do you know you see toughness? Um, you know, just the whole process of the recruiting, right? Like you, you, uh, you watch the film, right? How hard they play. Um, and then you, you figure out when you get around them and their families, right? What their beliefs are, right? Um, and, and just their demeanor about how they go about their business. What does it mean to have Nuri back? It's going to be great. Uh, it's great for the whole unit. You know, everyone's working hard and working together and, and, and I'm excited to watch their improvement. Did you get to work with him at all? I mean, obviously, you couldn't be a part of games, but what was your exposure to him last year while he was out? He came to all the meetings. How interchangeable is Turner Corporate? I mean, what, what, what can you envision for him this year, a guy that could maybe play just about anywhere for you? Yeah, he's, he's, uh, you, know, he's uh, you know, he's one of those guys you can play outside at tackle or, or guard, right? So. It's always good, but we work all those guys in different spots just so, you know, they're preparing, you know, who knows, right? Last year was pretty interesting, right? So uh, we just work them, you know, on the left side, right side. So they're working on different stances, different types of movements. Uh, you know, the left side obviously is different than the right side a little bit, right? Um, so, you know, it, it's great having guys like that, you know, that, you know, hey, something happens, he can move here or there. And that's what you try to build, right? Every guy should be, you know, in that. Now center's a little different, but, you know, every guy should be able to play tackle, guard, or center, right? So that's what, you know, when we go through this process, we're working them all, all over the, all over the uh, line. With Teddy out for the spring recovering, so who, who do you plan to kind of use at left tackle? Would it be Turner or would it be some other guys at left tackle? Yeah, we're working through that right now. You know, Turner, um, you know, we can throw Bryce over there. We can throw other guys out there, right? So Nuri could go out there. You know, we're still, we're still figuring all those things out. Um, there's nothing set in stone right now, so. Did I, did I hear you right that you said Ben Scott not necessarily earmarked for center? Yeah, you know, we're just seeing seeing who the best five is right now, and we'll figure that out once we get our pads on and all those things. But, you know, we're just focusing on the work that, that we're doing right now. Who would you look at center besides Scott? Who, who, who are the clubhouse leaders there? Um, there's no clubhouse leader yet. You know, there's, you know, Ethan Piper can play center. Um, Turner's a guy that we could play at center. Um, you know, there's some other guys out there that we could work at center as well, so. How many you guys coach? How would you describe Coach Rule? Like what would, how would you describe his leadership style and how you've met um, You know, he, he holds everyone accountable, you know, and um, you know, what to, you know what, what to expect when you show up to work. Um, be on top of your things, uh, do your job. And, uh, you know, he's been great. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful to be, you know, an uh, offensive line coach under Coach Rule. How much when you talk about accountability when it comes to recruiting? What maybe is the vibe there that – Similar or different to what we worked for with before? Um, I think, you know, he, it's everything is just, you know, it's it's always pretty similar, you know, but I think just making sure, right, everyone, everything's being recorded, right, you're, you're taking good notes and, and making sure you have good notes on wherever you go and, and certain players. So, how have you seen uh, Teddy, you know, stay engaged and work through, you know, back to back season with tough injuries and just what, what, You've seen behind the scenes from him, even if he's not quite available yet. Um, Teddy's one of the, the best teammates I've, I've seen. You know, he's just a great, great p person. And, and, and all our guys are, are like that in that room, you know, and, and I'm thankful for that. Um, but he, he's been in every meeting. You know, he didn't miss, you know. Um, and he's just, he's just been doing a good job staying engaged. You know, it's, it's hard, you know, you go through those things. And, you know, as a young guy, right, you can think of different things that, could, could sway you from not showing up every day and, and, you know, Teddy. And he's engaged to the point where he's helping guys out and coaching guys up, so. How do you feel about your numbers overall? Just the guys you have in the program at the position group and, you know, Coach Rule, I think the last time we talked to him mentioned probably still needing some more at O-line. Yeah, you know, you always look for good offensive linemen. Nori to be at those meetings, or is that just something he did, did on his own? It's just a standard. What have you learned about transfer portal recruiting after the last two years of doing it? Um, do a lot of research. Uh, on, on Jason Machachak, um, he was kind of a late scholarship offer, but you had built a relationship with him over time. How did that? How did that relationship maybe come into being a scholarship offer? And was that something that 
that you felt like you could do once Rule became the head coach? Like, did you want to offer him well long before you offered him, or how did that all kind of work out? You know, Jason is a, is the type of player that you know that you love in, in this place, right? He's a tough kid, strong, um, loves football, right? So uh, when that opportunity came up, you know, we 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 attacked it. Feel like you had to get approval from Coach Rule, or did you? It was a it was a uh, whole full staff, um, you know, um, deal. So is that so? Is that follow up on that? Is that your guy? Is Jason your guy? And and Mason Goldman too. Those guys are kind of listed both ways: offense, defense. It's are our you, guys. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you expect to have those guys day one on offense? I'm not sure. <laughs> All good. Thanks, guys. All right.